Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. It's been a while. I'm still fighting the flu. Whew. It has been a struggle. I tell you, I don't wish this on anybody, that's for sure. Um, but regardless of that, I just, I had to get up and put on makeup. I was just feeling so, eh. And I was like, I've got to do something. I got to make myself feel somewhat better. So, my makeup's not at its best. Of course, it's never really at its best because I'm not a makeup artist. But, it's really not at its best today. Um, my skin is just, mm, it doesn't want to cooperate at all. But, I thought today we could work out of the Marc Jacobs um, elect Electric. It's the 840. Um, I'm wearing purple, so I thought, why not? I keep thinking, like, what am what can I do? And I thought about like going from like person, like not person, but or company, like like with Mark Jacobs. I think I got like twelve of his palettes. So I thought about like doing a video using each of those, and then moving to like Pat McGrath and Natasha Denote, stuff like that. I thought about doing. Um, I don't know if that'd be interesting or not. And Lord knows, like, if I got to ColourPop, we'd be here for, well, we would just be here. Because, honestly, they got a new release every week. So, maybe two sometimes, even. Just saying. Just saying. At least that's the way it feels. Um, but, that's what I was thinking. I, I really don't know yet. So, I, I'm working on it. Um, because, I, you know, these palettes are still available. And you may or may not like them based on the actual color or if it's easy to work with and I mean come on you it's what fifty dollars I think they're forty nine dollars for Marc Jacob palettes and you get two four seven shades it's not the worst but it's not the best and it's colors don't you know work for you you, you probably don't want the palette you know or if the colors don't come off the the way you think they are you might not want the palette you know but I did already prime my eyes with ABH, and then I went ahead and used this color right here, this last color. It's showing white to you up there, is what I'm seeing. Um, but it's really like a um, bone color. It, it, well, more pinky, really. But I already, I used that to, on my eye and up on my brow bone, um, just to, you know, lay down the uh, primer. So the next color I'm gonna the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this one right here and I'm gonna start to build up my um crease. And with that I'm using a E40 from Sigma. It seems to be like a purple grayish color. I was going to do a video using the um, new Tati Beauty Blendiful, but I've already seen a couple of videos. Well, I've seen a lot. I'm not going to lie. I've seen a lot. And it seems like from a consumer's point of view, it has its ups and downs. Now, a makeup artist, they seem to be able to use it for anything but just from a consumer's point of view not so much I tried it I don't want to do a video on it for several reasons one I'm not a makeup artist and I know I'm using it wrong that's a given and she's not put out anything yet to really say how it works or how to use it so I've sort of just gonna wait on that too that way I can see it, you know, by watching her if I can do it. But as of right now, it does have its ups and downs. It is good at putting on some things, but not others. I'm not a big fan of it for foundation at all. Primer, it laid it down fine. Maybe better than, you know, when I use, because I just use my fingers for my primer. And... It did lay it better than that but again until I see her actually using it and showing techniques for it 
I really just don't want to put a video out there. I don't believe it'd be fair. But as of right now, I mean, just my first impression of it, it's soft, it's, it is nice, but it's not my game changer. But then again, I don't really have a game changer because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It is what it is. All right, now that I put that first color down, I'm gonna go ahead in with, um, let's see, what other brushes do I have? I'm trying to order more brushes too so that I have more I can sort of work with like using that particular brand you know what I mean or what I'm trying to say I don't know if you know because <laughs> I don't know half the time um no oh I'm gonna go in with this makeup forever it's the um 214 straight. That's all I got. And I'm going to go in with this next color and I'm going to uh, use that for my side and like my actual inside my crease. So I can build this up a little bit. It's a little bit darker. And again, it's like a, this one's like a purple brown color type thing. But, oh, Lord, I am still trying to get over the flu. It is awful. I mean, just awful. I really wouldn't wish this on anyone. I've never had it before until this year. So, I guess I am lucky when I say that. Because I know a lot of people get it all the time. Same with, like, pneumonia and stuff. Uh, I don't know how in the world people do it. I hate being sick, first off. I'm a mom, okay, of four, and a grandma to one, a Gigi. That's what she calls me because I'm too young. Too young to be a grandma. I refuse. But <laughs> I, it is what it is, I guess. But anyway, um, like, I just, I don't know. I just can't get sick, like, because, you know, it, it all has to still go on. And when you're sick, you don't want to do anything. And, like, my body's not at its best um, health-wise. So, I find that this kind of helps me there, too, doing makeup. I'm not good at it, but it sort of, like, eases my mind. Gives me something to do. People to chat with, hopefully. Type of thing. So, at least that's what I'm hoping to get out of it doing this besides making a fool of myself obviously because I don't know what I'm doing but I mean it's just this flu is just taking me down and I mean like I just I can't seem to get up from under it no matter what I do but I'm trying nonetheless. Each day I get up and do a little more. And I know I sh that's the one thing you're supposed to just like rest with the flu, but I mean, come on. I can't do that. I just can't. Because I got, like I said, all these kids got to do something with them. And my fiance, he's, you know, he has to go out and work, so. But honestly, he's been sick. Like, the whole house eventually got sick. We all got it. And we knew it was just a matter of time. Okay, and then for my lid, it's kind of going to be quick, guys, because I just, you know, 
But for my lid, I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here. Oops. I'm gonna try it dry first. If that don't work, I'll wet it. That's not doing for me. I'm gonna go ahead and wet it. I'm gonna use my Morphe spray to do that. Kind of need to get more setting spray. Hmm. All right, now that I got it wet, let's get some on there. Here we go. Much better. Hey, it looked more purple to be honest with you in the pan but it's coming out like a purple pink in a sense well I guess it does look like that in the pan Now I do, I can I can say that I really do like Marc Jacobs shadows. I, I own almost, I try to get his palettes when they come out. There's certain, you know, just because whether I use them or not, I just want them. His is one. Pat McGrath is one, but she's hard to get all of her palettes. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm almost to the point of giving up. I try to do Jeffree Star again. He's the same way, but I haven't given up on that. I love to wait 45 minutes through checkout, you know? Who don't? <laughs> um, but Okay. And then I'm just going to go back into the uh, first shade and just sort of buff that on top of that just to make sure it's all nice and blend it up there or not well I guess it would be the second shade because the first shade was the brow bone I just want to make sure that it's all nice and good I don't want it to look I don't know I don't know what I'm doing just ignore me half the time I'm sick so I mean if you would have seen me the other day answering the phone from my fiance you would have I mean I was just like I'm pretty sure they think there's something wrong with me I'm, 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 I'm almost positive of it. And you know what I just thought of? I should have used the Marc Jacobs brushes. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just out of it completely. Like, I'm just, I'm just out of it. All right. I'm going to use this Hourglass number 10. And I'm going to go into the black. And I'm just going to line the um, lash line. My top lash line here. Wow. That's black. I mean, I didn't expect less, but that's black. Tell you what, I made a big mistake the other day also. I used the uh, ColourPop um, eyeshadows in, I think it was the Bare Necessity one. It's one of the, not the, it's one of the newest ones I came out with, right? And I've always heard people complain about the glitter how they wish, the press glitters, how they wish they didn't put them in there and it's not eye safe and like, I've used other people's glitter, like Tati's glitter, you know? 
And I did have issues with that, but not in the sense of what I had issues with this one. That one I just couldn't get to stay on, but I was that was error on my end. Now the color pop one, it stayed on. And then taking it off went everywhere and through it I, no. Through the day it stayed in place. But taking it off, oh my goodness. All I can say is, oh my goodness. Because it was awful. I mean, the glitter got in my eye. And I did hear somebody say that that has happened to people before. And, like, they actually had to go to the doctor. And I'm like, oh, why didn't I listen? It's one of those things where, why didn't you just listen? But, anyway, um, yeah, don't. I honestly don't recommend their glitters at all. Everything else Oh, yeah, it's nice, especially for the price point. And it did last a while before fading off. I mean, but you, you're getting what you're paying for. Let's put it like that also. Okay, so I did line the top lash line with that black eyeliner or black shadow it perfectly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my lash line. And I'm going to use my, here it is, I think. Yeah, my real techniques. Um, shading brush. Actually, let me go ahead and let me do the bottom lash line too with the black. Let me get it as close as I possibly can. And then I'm going to take that, uh, this color here that I did on the inner corner and I'm going to kind of just like take that black also and just sort of like match it together. I love using this brush for my bottom lash line. I don't know why, but I do. All right. And then for the inner corner. I don't know why I got that out. I'm going to use this silver. I just find it pretty. All right, I gotta, I, I washed, I swear I did, that um, Toddy Beauty thing, cause you know, everybody said that it had like furs, hairs, something, I don't know, when uh, they used it, so I pre-washed it and, and they were right, oh, just, but then again, I'm sitting here thinking, you want, you're supposed to clean all your, your tools when you get them, you know, your brushes, anything, so that kind of, like, that's nothing, I don't take that as, like, a mark down to me, but whatever, I guess. I just feel like I don't know how to use it is my thing, if you want to know the truth. Alright, so then the last thing we're going to do is I got the new sample of the Fenty Mascara. I was going to buy it, and then I said I could get it for a sample, and I thought, why? So, I got a sample of it from Sephora, because I shopped too much. I'm running out of things to shop for, actually. And that's sad. Like, nothing's really catching my fancy. Is there anything out there catching your all's fancies? Like, if there is, let me know. 
so I can check it out. Cause if it maybe it'll catch on. Like I really haven't bought anything in a while. Like the last thing I bought. Oh, I bought. Um, I know why I got this because I bought this. These three Pat McGrath uh, lippies thingies, lip glosses. That's what it is in the reds. And I'm wearing one of them on top of a red liner now. I'm wearing the this one here. Something desire. Yeah, you know I'm not going to be reading that, right? I don't even think if I put my glasses on, I could read that, to be honest with you. Let's see. Pretty sure I need new glasses, guys. Cardinal? Cardinal desire, maybe? So what I'm reading. I don't know. See, this is... I do need new glasses on them. I just refuse to buy them. I just got those. I spent so much money on them. Stuff's just not cheap. Because I wanted to get those lenses that, um... You know, that change colors and stuff. But that's what the, um little thingy looks like and I think the full size of this is $25 if I'm not mistaken First impression, I mean, but no one and stuff. It's not bad. It's separating and lifting. I mean, I did curl my lashes, but still, yeah. The only thing with the minis is like, it's so tiny to hold the brush. It's a different kind of brush, and so I don't know. I like it though. And this is the final look for today. That's the eyeshadow look that I did. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did. I like that we're playing with Marc Jacobs shadows, so I really do enjoy them. Um, if it seems to be a color scheme that you enjoy, they're easy to work with. Beginner to, I guess, makeup artists will use it. So until the next time. Bye.